working, I feel good about myself. You know, I feel needed there. I feel respected. Justine Bateman gets plenty of respect. At just under 19 years of age, she's a veteran of three seasons on one of television's top hits, Family Ties. Ellis made me the new coach of the soccer team. You? Jason Bateman is her younger brother. He's starring in his own series on the same network, NBC. The show is called It's Your Move. That's at the ripe old age of 15. Justine and Jason join us now from our Los Angeles studio. Jason, you started in acting before Justine did, didn't you? Uh, yeah, about uh, two years before. Yeah. Did that influence you, Justine? To, I mean, did you say, what a wonderful life, why don't I get in this? Um, not necessarily. I just, it was just something I decided, you know, what the hey, I might as well try. Yeah. What influence does your dad have on you? Because he's a producer. Um, he's, yeah, he was probably, um, uh, most responsible for getting me interested in the business because, um, you know, he'd come home with all his, his chatter about what happened in his day, you know, and I got real interested in, you know, this and that, uh, different things about the business. So that, that kind of got me yeah. thinking, well, wow, that's neat, yeah. you know? Is the family close? I mean, do you talk show business at dinner and uh, whenever you get together? We try not to. You try not you know, to. You talk sports or what? Sure, why not? You know, when when you're doing this for at least eight hours a day, last thing you want to talk about with your family yeah. when you get home is a business. But sometimes it's necessary as our parents are our managers. Yeah. Is it competitive between you? One has a hit series, one has a series that's just been canceled. Um. No. I mean, gosh, he's going to go do lots of movies, so. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm envious. That's how, yeah. You're kind of envious now that he has more freedom. Well, in a way, I mean, any, everything's perfect. Everything will... And if this job doesn't work out, if this business doesn't yeah. work out, which is a small aspect of life, you go off and be an architect or but something. But that's been your attitude, it seems, from what I read, throughout this whole business. I mean, you sort of have a kind of, uh, well, whatever will be. If it works, fine. If it doesn't, there are a lot of other things. I mean, you are not that's, one of these yeah. hard-driving young people who say, I've got to be a star or my life will no. be over. <laughs> wow, I mean, if you, ever, if you never get to that point, you've kind of thrown this life you've been given away. Yeah. Jason, you're... The series has been canceled at your move. What's next for you? I mean, is it going to be as great as she says? I mean, you lucky man. Your series has been canceled. You're free now to do all those other things you wanted to do. Um, I hope to. I mean, um, the ball has already started rolling. Um, the offers are flowing in? Yeah, different offers, different scripts at the house that I'm reading, interviews yeah. that I'm going on. So it's it's starting to, um, to really go off into that other... Um, yeah aspect that she was talking about. Yeah. Do you enjoy it a lot? Uh, do you look at it as work? Uh, when someone your age looks at what you do, they would say, wow, what a wonderful life he has. Is it that terrific? Um, it's, as much as it's a lot of fun, um, there is a lot of work involved. Um, uh, you do have to come home and study your lines and eat dinner and do your homework and call your friends and relax all in about two hours after you come through traffic from work every day. Um, you have to give up things on the weekends for publicity things. You gotta get up early for things like this. Um, there are a lot of different things that aren't necessarily, you know, sweeping or shoveling as far as physical work, but it's it's definitely something that you, you're very conscious of what you're doing. Do you have um, time for a normal life as most of us would define normal life? You know, and time for sports, time for dating, time for all those things that are part of adolescence? Well, I have my weekends, um, or at least most of it, uh, and you really have to make time for all those things um, because, you know, like, like the series, um, uh, just got canceled so now I'm going back to school and it was important for me to establish my friends beforehand so you can flow into that quote normal life you know uh, Justine if if you went home and said look I don't want to do this to your parents would they say well congratulations go be whatever you want to be or would they say look you know you have a lot of potential here and you're throwing away your life well if there was because uh, my parents have are extremely supportive anything we've wanted to do they've supported if if it's not uh just a uh, a flying desire if it's if it's truly something we want to do and if i had some valid reason why 
I no longer wanted to continue, they would completely support me. But if it was just um, a, a, a whim, uh, a whim out, of, out of some kind of frustration, they'd say, now, wait a wait minute. Wait a minute. A lot of time, money, and people invested in what you're doing now, and you better be sure that, this, that you don't want to do it anymore. Jason and Justine, thanks for joining Night Watch. We'll continue. Stay with us.